Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the idea of God, which is a topic that is discussed often in ways that I'm not terribly crazy about. Often when I hear people talk about God, they seem to fixate on the idea of God existing or God not existing, or whether or not a person believes in God. And I honestly don't find that question particularly interesting, and I also don't find it particularly fruitful. And here's why. There are a huge number of different religions out there, even if you're just looking in Western religions, and even if you're looking just at a particular re religion, like Christianity, there's a huge amount of variation in the different denominations or sects of that religion. And if you look at these different denominations, and if you look at the different world religions, ones that have the idea of God or gods, you find that there are radically different ideas of God. Sometimes the, the, the very fundamental ways of looking at God can be really different. And as a really basic example, there are some forms of Christianity that seem to focus on a lot of the attributes of God described in the Old Testament, which involve like being angry and judgmental and judging people, and advocating for a certain type of morality that I think of as a little bit more uh, sort of tit-for-tat, kind of like, I'm going to punish you because you did this. So there's that on the other hand, and then there are other notions of God that to me seem radically different, like other forms of Christianity seem to focus more on the teachings of Jesus in the New Testament, and specific te teachings that are about God loving all people and God being endlessly forgiving, like forgiving all people for their wrongdoing. And like when I look at these different sects that have these different beliefs in God and different ways their beliefs play out, I ask myself the question, do these people really mean the same thing when they talk about God? Like is God really the same to these different sects? And I'm not sure that the answer is yes. I'm not necessarily sure that these different groups believe in the same God. But there are other times when I meet people who are from different religions, like maybe one person is Muslim, one person is Christian, one person is Jewish, and they all profess a belief in God. And when, when I start talking to them more at length about their beliefs, I start seeing a lot of similarities, and I start getting the sense that they actually do believe in the same God, or at least a, a similar concept of God that has a lot of overlap. Now, to, to throw something else in the mix, let's look at atheism. I know a lot of atheists, and I also know a lot of people who identify as agnostics, like they're not sure whether or not God exists. And these people often have principles that they live by, like sense of purpose, meaning, uh, morals, values, and a lot of them are driven by these principles and these purposes. And when I look at how they are living out their lives, it looks a lot, it looks really similar to me to how some Christians talk about following God or wanting to live their life for God, like they're living for a higher purpose. And I think, is it really something different that they're doing when they're living for these higher principles just because they're not calling it God, whereas someone else is? And sometimes I don't think that the answer is a clear yes or no. There are obviously some similarities and there's some differences. But this gets back to the initial point that I was trying to make, which is that I think that if we fixate too much on the idea of whether or not God exists, or whether or not a specific person believes in God, we miss a lot. We lose a lot of nuance, and we don't really learn that much deep about a person's value system. I like to encourage people to not ask that question, to not ask whether or not people believe in God, but instead ask people what they believe in, and ask people how their beliefs fit together, and really listen to them. Um, try to get a sense of what's going on in a deeper level. I think that that's a lot more interesting, and I think it leads to more meaningful understanding of other people's belief systems. So I hope you have found this helpful, and thank you.